before you right now. We ask that you continue to serve us, oh God, as you have served us already to this day, oh God. We ask that you continue to grace us with your glory, oh God, for we know your presence is always there. But we thank God for reigning your glory, oh God. For everyone does not have the privilege of your glory reigning over them, God. We ask that you continue to reign your glory as we receive your word, God. Speak now for thy servant servants heareth. In the name of Jesus, amen. You may be seated. Amen. We thank God for the service thus far. Amen. And today, y'all know God gives us some, some messages that we be telling Jesus for real. <laughs> today is one of those messages with me because I have to break it down the way he said to break it down. Amen. And the topic of the message today is I desire to be a lethal weapon. I desire to be a lethal weapon. And I know some church folk don't believe in watching certain shows and everything, but sometimes you got to know what's going on in the world in order to minister to the people of the world. And I watch this show every day. You never know where God gives you your sermon topic from. But I watch this show called Cheetos. Every day. It comes on like 1 o'clock in the morning. So I, I can't watch it then. I do the DVR thing. I've got with technology now. And I watch this show called Cheetos. And this husband got caught cheating on his wife. And when he got caught cheating and all the cameras came out and all the security came out, he says, move back, move back. I'm a lethal weapon. I'm a certified lethal weapon. And so the security and the cameras start moving back because usually when a person says that they are a certified lethal weapon, it means they have took, taken some type of karate. And people who are karate experts are considered just like boxers, lethal weapons. You see, a boxer can't get out in the street and fight somebody and serve the same time that a regular man does because if he's a boxer, then he's a certified lethal weapon. Y'all with me? So a person who trains in karate and receives their black belt is considered a certified lethal weapon. And so they can't go out here and fight any kind of way. Because that would be the same as somebody having a gun or a knife in a fight. Y'all with me? So, he says, step back. I'm a certified lethal weapon. Everybody, pull back. But when he went into his stance to fight, they realized he ain't no nothing. <laughs> He ain't no karate or crazy. And so then they started coming up on him because he was just talking junk. He really wasn't a certified lethal weapon. Well, that's what happens with us in the house of God. You see, we act as if we are certified lethal weapons in the spirit realm. Oh, we can, he come a high and yeah, 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 yeah. But when the trouble really comes, you ain't got no stance. You ain't got no balance. You ain't got no rhythm. You ain't got no power. You ain't got no authority. And then the devil starts laughing at you and going to beat the mess out of you. Sitting right in the house of God. Yeah, we had more people leave the house of God on a Sunday afternoon. Mad and disgusted. But you're supposed to be a certified lethal weapon. So how many certified lethal weapons do I have in the house today? Hallelujah! Sir, I'm certified. You mess with me in the spirit realm, I be done touched you and knocked you out and you don't know where you been or where you came from by the time you get yourself together. Because I'm a certified lethal weapon. You just can't come at me any kind of way. The devil knows he can't just come at me any kind of way. And even when the devil, when the demons came into the presence of Jesus Christ, as he walked the earth, Jesus didn't even have to say anything to them. When his presence came around, they said, what you want, Jesus? What you want while you're 
messing with me. Just his presence alone made the demons scared. We went to a conference on Thursday night. And every church isn't the same. And some churches don't have certified lethal weapons. They go to church, but they ain't got certified lethal weapons. They brought in a certified lethal weapon that Thursday night. And the demonic spirits in that church began to scream out all around. Because they weren't used to a certified lethal weapon. And so when the presence of God really came in their rain, they started screaming out and nobody was bothering them. Just like when Jesus went over to the other side of the water and a demon came running, what's up Jesus, what do you want? Why are you messing with me now? That's how they were Thursday night. Dr. Rita Twiggs walked up in that sanctuary and they just started screaming. Ah, Jesus, because she's a certified lethal weapon. I had one come stand beside me and when she looked at me, she just screamed. <laughs> Fell down on the floor. I'm a certified <laughs> lethal weapon. You got to realize what you're playing with when it comes to church. See, the problem is we've been playing church for so long that everybody has been playing it and playing it and nobody even know who the remnant is anymore. Nobody knows who the real preachers are, who the real evangelists are, who the real prophets are because everybody has gotten this church protocol and just stomping and clapping and having a good time and everybody going straight to hell. All the demons having church together, getting grants and building beautiful cathedrals. Why? Because the world take care of their own. Ah, Jesus. The Bible says that they were going to be in high places. So then if you have a spirit that's in a high place and you have a church that's leading a thousand people to hell and they got the chance to get some money and you in that high place, you won't look out for your... See, the spirits look out for the spirits. It's the church folk that can't get along, Jesus. So, when you study karate, the ultimate goal is to get to the black belt. Now, on the way to the black belt, the black belt constitutes the upper ranks and the upper levels of karate. But on the way to the black belt, there are many different colors. And the different colors establishes whether you are skilled or not. It shows that you have the techniques, the skills, the training to be at that level. So somebody that knows about karate and they see someone walk in with a black belt, they automatically give reverence because they recognize your rank and your authority. But in the house of God, I don't care what your title is, don't nobody recognize what you are or reverence your position. When the Bible says that the man of God is worth double honor, Ah, Jesus, Jesus. I didn't say it. The word says it's worth double honor. So you're going to honor somebody because they got on a black belt. And if you're going to go to court and honor a judge because he got on a black robe, how dare you not honor the man and woman of God? Ah, okay, all right, all right, all right. So, the first 